Hi everybody, my name is Riccardo Picozzi and today I'm reviewing the book The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lex by Rebecca Sklut, first published in 2010. On October 4, 1951, Henrietta Lex dies of epidermoid carcinoma. Henrietta Lex is the protagonist of this book. She was a black woman who born in Virginia from a family of slaves and helped uh, humanity with her, with her disease. Why did she help humanity with her disease? Because um, from her body, as soon as she died, uh, Dr. Guy took a sample of, um, of her cells, of the cells from her, from her tumor. And um, these cells, uh, called the HeLa cells, were astonishing in the way that they became the first cells to grow uh, outside of the human body. Why are they so special? These cells are so special because they can divide no matter what and uh, they can survive in uh, whatever environment and that's why it's estimated that they are found in uh, a lot of petri dish even when the thing inside the petri dish has never been in contact with them. They have been used to cure multiple diseases uh, from the book, we know that Kuti, Herigeta Cousins, uh, has been saved from polio thanks to her cells. In fact, they were used for testing vaccines uh, against uh, polio. And uh, even today, against COVID, uh, we know that we are using HeLa cells uh, to test vaccines. But they've been used even to trace the number of chromosomes. We know from them that they are uh, 46. The family didn't want... Uh, anybody to publish a book about Henrietta life uh, unless anybody from the family uh, brought it but since uh, anyone um, had um, higher education nobody uh, could uh, write it that's why uh, at first Rebecca Sklut the journalist uh, who wrote the book uh, was uh, betrayed and even untrusted by the family because um, they thought that she was from um, John Hopkins that was the hospital that took um, Harrietta cells and that used them for making money out of it. American doctors at that time weren't so clever on what they were doing on their patient especially if you were a black patient and that's what happened to Henrietta Lex they take her uh, samples from her without her knowledge and uh, that's, that's similar to what happened to Tusky uh, ex on the Tusky experiment at that time where uh, black men uh, weren't cured from syphilis because doctors wanted to see uh, how it affected people. The family didn't make any profit out of the discovery that uh, were made on Gila. And nonetheless, they knew that uh, Henrietta was used for research. Especially, this was hard for them to re remember uh, stuff about Henrietta because they were a really religious family, and they believed that um, we that they shouldn't uh, talk about uh, that people. Key character of the story is Deborah Alex. She's the daughter of Henrietta, and she's the person that suffered the most, the lost. Of her mother. She wanted to know always about her and she suffered uh, her loss the most when she knew 20 years after her death that she was still alive in the form of cells. It's really hard in a few words to describe this book because it touches a lot of uh, topics uh, for example the love between daughter and mother, the, um, the randomness on casualties that bring to big uh, results in the medical world, the medical research on how it is brought up and a lot of things and racism uh, that are all in this book. And it's, it's special that Rebecca Sklut um, successfully does it in, um, in, ex in an extraordinary book that uh, has to be read uh, according to me in every medical course.